everybody, this is Eric with Arenda. Uh, I'm here in beautiful San Diego with Javier Payan from uh, Payan Pool Services. And we're here at this beautiful pool that he just took under service just a couple of years ago. And uh, we just kind of wanted to talk to him about how he has discovered Arenda, the app, how we're doing things a little bit differently. And really, I want to kind of pick his brain with questions that I don't know, and hopefully you find value in it too. So thanks for being with us. Yeah, you're so welcome. You, so you, you've been in this game uh, a few decades now. And, yeah. And we were talking before the, the camera came on that um, things are different in the pool business now. So kind of rehash that conversation. When I started 30 some odd years ago in the pool business, the conventional wisdom was to keep your sign at 90 to 100 parts per million, to uh, use a pH cloud to lower alkalinity. And by today's standards, that thinking is completely changed. Right. But back then, that's how we used to learn. So what I've seen over time is the conventional wisdom is changing here and there. And I've known Harold from Miranda, we go back 20 years or so. Mm -hmm. And the products that they have are designed to help guys like my, myself or companies like us where we have hundreds of pools on service and we're mm -hmm. trying to maintain them. And in San Diego in particular, the water hardness is pretty high here high calcium levels typically, and that presents some challenges when we're maintaining pools, particularly with scale, right. on spillways, and the water line. For a company like ours that have been maintaining this pool for mm -hmm. five years or so, it drives us crazy to know that the water is in perfect balance. It is in perfect, we measured it, it's great. Yet we have scale. Yeah, a lot of the problems that have happened really only started coming in the last 10 years or so, things have changed. So actually it's the water that's coming out of the tap that's different. You're actually having to deal with it differently. And the more we learn, and you mentioned Harold, he knows what he's talking about, but for 30 years, Harold was doing the same thing that everybody in the industry was doing because that was what was the best conventional wisdom at the time. And to find out that actually cyanuric acid is a lot more detrimental than we originally thought is just one example of that. Yeah. Well, you know, another thing that's that's changed from 30 years ago is mm -hmm. that we didn't really think a lot about cyanuric acid. We just, our job was to keep pools clean. But since we've seen a lot of plaster problems in the last couple of decades and a lot of finger pointing, service companies have had to dial in what they know and mm -hmm. really be a lot more proactive and, and sure. more knowledgeable than we had to be 30 years ago. Yeah. So what are the symptoms that you see that you would come to a homeowner like me and say, hey, just so you know, we're going to have to replace your motor soon or we're going to have to replace your salt cell or heater. Or what are the kind of symptoms that you look for to be able to diagnose that before you take that pool on service? Well, we, we like to do a thorough evalu evaluation of all the pools that we take on, but we look at the motors, are they making noise? Mm -hmm. are, are the salt system have any um, air lights coming on, air mm -hmm. codes, does the heater leak in? Um, with pool equipment, pumps, filters, heaters, etc., mm -hmm. there is some maintenance you have to do on them as well too. But um, not unlike pool equipment, the water chemistry has some maintenance you have to do on it too. Sure. You have to really stay on top of it. And what we do for our customers is we do a annual evaluation and we give customers feedback. Hey, um, your TDS is really high. You should consider draining the pool or doing a reverse right. osmosis or you've got the scale build up. And you document all of this? We document it and, uh, and have a, a, a photo um, resource library Very and good. we present that to our customers so we can help advise them on how to maintain the pool. So one of the things that we have been driving at with Arenda, which um, obviously your company has really adopted, we're grateful for that, is preaching that the LSI is the foundation of water chemistry. Langlier saturation index, you know, it's the calcium carbonate saturation of the pool. So when we look at corrosion problems or etching of plaster surfaces or scale on tile lines, what have you, all of that has to do with the LSI. So prior to our app or, or prior to recent understanding of how important it was. How did you manage those problems if you didn't know it was the LSI that was the root cause of it? You know, that's an interesting question because I go back to um, the mindset 30 years ago yeah. and it was a complete different mindset. Um, we learned about LSI, particularly in a CPO course, but right. it was never really um, applied. So we knew, okay, if you've got this problem, go back to LSI, we'd have to get the CPO books, what's the calculation and start yeah. doing it. So it was something that was really, um, uh, burdensome to do and mm -hmm. to do things on a mass scale it was you know it just wasn't going to happen the app that Arenda's created is it simplifies everything because we can come in and we don't have to do any calculations we mm -hmm. can do things quickly and when I say quickly if we're on a job site and we got all day we can spend all day testing water that's not a problem mm -hmm. but if you've got a route to do and you've got to be to the next stop you've got to do things quickly well, and how efficient. quickly I mean how, how many minutes are we talking a guy your, your guy hits a pool 
how long is he there before he's closing the gate and on to the next one? So um, anywhere from about 15 minutes to 30 minutes, you have, wow, to, get, that you, fast. You have to get in and uh, um, do your water chemistry, vacuum the pool, clean the tile, add the chemicals, mm -hmm. sign the sheet, empty baskets, and you're, and you're on the road. So mm -hmm. our, our service guys, they do on average about um, 13 pools a day. So they, 13, have, to, wow. they have to be hustling. Um, now, keep in mind they're cleaning 13 clean pools a day that are well routed, so mm -hmm. it's not like they're driving across town. But um, we, uh, with the Aranda app, it gives them the ability to monitor things quickly, but more importantly, they can screenshot things or they can yeah. email it to the customers, and then we have that documentation. What, one of the ways we've adopted the um, Aranda app in our um, regular course of business when we're doing our walkthroughs, we can actually take those, or mm -hmm. if we're doing a startup, do the screenshots and take the pictures of those to preserve up on our um, uh, video library or photo library. Yeah, so, so for your records, that's, that's really good. And that was a feature that uh, I didn't think about when we were building the app, but it's, it's one of the most heavily used features in the app is we're gonna email this with a date and timestamp saying, here's what we found, here was your LSI, here's how we're fixing it. Mrs. Homeowner, you know, here's, we need to sell you this much calcium. It sounds crazy, but no, we're actually just preparing you for the winter. Yeah. Or um, one of the things that's interesting about the, uh, the uh, calcium hardest, for example, for many years, I, I don't think I've ever bought a bag of calcium. I can't mean all the years I've been servicing pools. Now that we're doing more startups, that's a more critical thing. Right. That's just part of our, our deal now. But one of the other things that the Oranda app has done is it really enlightened us about how calcium hardness affects water, if it being too high or too low, and how you can manipulate it um, to achieve ultimately um, perfect water balance. Yeah. We, we actually kind of laugh and we play around with, with the calculator because nobody knows water chemistry perfectly. A lot of people will tell you they do, but let's be real. There's so many different combinations of how you can balance your water. And what the calculator allows you to do is, is play with multiple features and figure out, okay, there's multiple ways to skin this cat. There's multiple ways for us to get to LSI balance. We can raise alkalinity or we can raise calcium or pH or temperature. You know, there's, there's different ways around it. And what we figured out, and I want to see how it has related in your business. When you raise calcium levels, which is counterintuitive on pools, especially when you have scale, have you found that you're spending less on other balancing chemicals like acid and sodium bicarb at all? Yeah, we have, and, and you're right, it is very counterintuitive. It's like when salt systems first came out. Hey, mm -hmm. we gotta put 600 pounds of salt. Yeah, six, right, in a super, pool that size. Super counterintuitive. Right. It's like, they better be right on this calculation, but that's exactly right. Um, mm -hmm. Calcium, we're always uh, trained to, th uh, to think that calcium is bad and typically calcium in our region out of the tap comes out high. But um, what we're noticing is that now things are changing. The calcium's coming out of the tap lower and now we have to really monitor that and make sure that we do have calcium in the water because it's gonna affect the outcome of the interior finish of the pool. Right, and especially in the first 30 to 60 days of a fresh new surface renovation plaster job, quart, pebble, whatever you have, quartz, pebble. Um, Calcium is critical. It's it's super critical, but then again, you got two trades come together. You got the plaster industry that's there to plaster pool, fill it, and be down the road. Yeah. Then you got the service company that's going to inherit that pool. And when something goes wrong, the finger pointing starts, sure. and the person that suffers the most is the client who just spent it's the homeowner. a bunch of money to yeah. renovate their pool. Yeah, I'm and the then, homeowner. I don't know anything, but wow, well, I got to spend a few thousand dollars to get this fixed. What yeah. you know, it's your fault, right? I hired you to make that sure this didn't happen. Yeah, absolutely, and, and we've yeah. seen the finger pointing go on for for decades. As long as I've been in the pool business, there's been finger pointing. And one of the things I like about what Aranda is doing is it's kind of bringing these two trades together. It's um, I know Harold uh, goes out his way to educate plaster companies to. Uh, uh, imprint upon them the importance of calcium hardness levels being adjusted correctly right from the get-go and test the source water so that when the pool gets handed over to a service company that it's, it's handed over in good shape and we've right. seen time and time again where um, again the conventional wisdom was just we have high calcium so don't add the calcium in the water the service company is not going to really address it or even check for it in some sure. cases and then things start getting out of whack. Good. Well, today, uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to put this, this pool's never been treated with Arenda products. It's got some scale around the edges. Uh, we've tested the water earlier. It's actually in really good LSI balance today, but we can tell that when the sun comes out and starts beating on the, uh, 
the tile line, it gets a little hotter. The LSI is a little bit different there. So what we're going to do today is we're going to apply some SC1000 and CV600 here. Ultimately, what we want to do is we want to break it down chemically and get that calcium into the water where you need it. And it's going to contribute to your hardness level in a good way. So well, looking let's, forward to it. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Thank you. Signing out.